Why, hello there. My name is Freckress, and welcome back to Let's Play the Dream Machine. So I'm gonna go do that thing I said I was gonna do. And now that I can... Gosh, that was tough. That was, that was really convoluted. Wish that I had, like, picked up a doorstop in the kitchen or something. Something silly at the beginning, but, like, doorstop? That would have made sense. But no, we don't make sense here. Making sense is for losers. I need the... Hallway. And then I need to just drop Edie over here. Okay. I had the right idea, just not the proper execution. Hi, Edie. Did you see it? The tentacle shaped like the old woman is drawing energy from you. Show me the problem. Only then will I be able to help. But I'm showing you the problem right now. What more do you need to see? Come on, Edie. Do you see it? Ah. <sighs> What, really? Can you come with me? No, of course not. Okay, now I'm confused. Frickin' Edie doesn't want to come out here any further. She doesn't answer me. Why? Why does this have to be so frustrating? I'm so confused. I could not figure this out on my own, and I had to look it up, and it just says, Show the photograph of his mom over to old Edie. And she'll give you her bag. Like, that makes no sense at all, but okay. Sure, showing you the problem. Edie, I have an idea. Can you catch this if I throw it at you? I doubt it. But I can lower my sewing bag to you if that's alright. Sure. Why do you have a sewing bag while you're knitting? Anyway. Well, can I... Can't look at it. I'll just put that here. No, not with myself. Not with that either. Gosh, dang it. I didn't know it would combine. <laughs> In my inventory. Alright. There we go, let's put this here, and just here, have that. I put the photo in the bag. Okay. You can reel it in now, Edie. Alright. Now what? Do you see the photo? Yes. I need you to jab it with the needle. I want you to cut it in half with the scissors. Man, it doesn't really matter which one I do. If, if that works, okay. Let's just cut it with the scissors. Alright. Schnip. Okay. Into the void he goes. <laughs> Alright. Well done, Mr. Neff. I thought I'd never be rid of her. Does this mean everybody in the building is safe? There's still two more dreams to visit before we're in the clear. I admire your dedication to your neighbors. It's not just about my neighbors, Edie. My wife's also under the influence of the machine, and she's pregnant, so... I see. That's why I had to knock you and your friends out. My family was on the line. I didn't see any other way to help them. That's understandable, Victor. I had a family too, once. I would have done anything for them as well. I hadn't thought about it in those terms. No? I didn't realize that's, that that's what I'm doing until just now. I'm sure you've had a lot to consider. The strange thing is, I didn't even want a kid. But you've changed your mind? I guess I must have. Can't remember when, though. Just this morning I had this perfectly serene dream, like everything was back to normal again. And then I woke up. No, you didn't! You were- you were on a deserted island! <laughs> Wasn't until this machine started threatening us that I started to- You had to risk losing something to start appreciating it. That's a pretty common trait. I'm still not sure how to feel about it. It's natural to feel conflicted about these things. I'd be far more worried if you approached fatherhood flippantly or with no hesitation at all. When Alicia told me she was pregnant, I really strained my smile. Unwelcome news, I take it. I felt a cold sinking feeling. But she seemed so happy. I didn't want to ruin her moment. Some would call that considerate. 
No, it wasn't. It was easy. I forced my smile because it was the path of least resistance. Yeah, it was non-confrontational. In the back of my mind, I was already pondering how I could persuade her. Seems like you were unsuccessful. That's the worst part. I hardly tried at all. I just passively coasted along until it was too late. Being passive is also a decision. You could have bailed, but you didn't. That is, truer words have not been said. That pretty much sums up my life. You don't seem so passive now, though. Bodging through dreams to save your family. I guess it took something like this to wake me up. You know what that tells me, Victor? No. Tells me you're going to make a pretty good father. Oh, I... I don't know about that. You really think so? Of course, dear. It's strange how easy I can express these thoughts to you. I hardly know you. And I haven't even admitted much of this to myself. The subconscious is a strange and powerful thing. Now, I hope you don't find me rude, but there's something tugging on this old chair. Third on the bag, and I'll secure you to the trunk over there. Pretty sure that would just uproot the tree. This place is falling apart whether I want it to or not. I pr it probably isn't safe f for you here anymore. So is this his goodbye then? Who knows? We're, we're just sandcastles, Victor. I'm sure a piece of me will reform on some faraway beach somewhere down the line. Perhaps we'll meet again there. Are you going to die? Don't die. I'm sure we will. For what it's worth, I'm sorry I disrupted your tea party. You spend too much time apologizing, Victor. Wish me luck instead. Good luck, Edie. Give my regards to your little family once this ordeal has been dealt with. I will. Goodbye, Victor. Goodbye, Edie. Oh no! She is gonna die. She's gonna crumble off into the void. You should have given me your bag! How far is she gonna go? I'm just gonna watch. I'm just gonna watch her destruction and demise. Yep. <laughs> Alright, I guess she is actually finally fully gone. And I waited for nothing. I didn't even get an achievement. <laughs> That's okay. I guess I'll leave now. Oh, okay. Won't let me talk to her. Or him. How did he get out here, though? That's the interesting thing. Alright, time to go. That take care of, that takes care of Edie's tentacle. There are just two more dreams to purge before the machine shuts down. Now I need to make the last two neighbors fall asleep, and then purge their dreams as well. Should be straightforward. Chapter five: Gaze into the abyss, and the abyss gazes back. Is she gone? She's on her way to another place. I cut the tentacle, tethering Edie to her decaying mind. The sight of her drifting away into the void will haunt me for quite some time. So she's just gone. Yep. So they're gonna wake up and she's gonna be dead. That's nice. Totally fine. It's Edie's friend Peggy. I had to put her to sleep as well in order to access Edie's dream. Hope she doesn't wake up anytime soon. Can't get to, uh, I don't remember what his name was. George, perhaps? It wasn't Reginald, but I'll take Reginald now. Damn. Sorry, Edie. Now I have to figure out how to get everybody else's dreams, but I'm. I'm thinking the mail might come. It was only just after noon when I, when I got out of uh, Alicia's dream, so maybe now that it's possibly three... Hello, Mr. Postman! Ha <laughs> ha! Good thing. Sir, can you help me out? 
I'm delivering a package to a Felix Morton, but I can't reach the mailbox. Could you fetch Mr. Morton so I can deliver his pack package personally? Mr. Morton's not at a state to receive packages. I can put the package in the mailbox for you. Mr. Morton's busy at the moment, but I can take the package for him. I'm Felix Morton. Yep. Wish I could take your word for it, but the regulations are quite strict. Do you have some kind of identification? I don't have it on me, but it's around here somewhere. Just give me a second and I'll go get it. I mean, I could do that. Perhaps. I'll need a photo of myself though, won't I? I mean, I could just go downstairs, right? <laughs> I've got a handprint! <laughs> There's the sleepy powder, Mr. Morton's notebook, phone bill. That's the, uh, the notebook for the sleeping stuff. Okay. Search Mr. Morton. I can't believe I'm going through the pockets of a dead man, but he might have some kind of identification on him. Sure does. Found a library card in his wallet. I guess that'll have to do. Let me look at it. Alright, examine photo. I can probably remove the photo if I peel carefully. Well, do that. If there, I, that did it. Alright, now I gotta find a photo of myself. Oh, I know where there's a photo of myself. There's a photo of myself and this book. That was simple. Easy peasy. Thank you, friend. Put that on this. Hooray! Luckily there's enough adhesive for the photo to stick. Of course. Of course there is. Alright, floor one. I'm just crushing it! I am the puzzle queen. Or the puzzle royalty. And there's nothing you can do about it! <laughs> Hello again, Mr. Morton. Any luck finding your identification? Here you go. Hmm. This name is correct and the photo looks like you. I guess you're Mr. Morton. Here's the package, sir. Good thing this guy's not a snitch. Thanks. Alright, so I got my package. It's the gas. Trust Mr. Morton, it's surprisingly heavy. Open package. Shake package? What? Listen to package. No, just open it. Mr. Morton won't need it anymore, and it might be important. Got me a gas canister. All right. So now, go back to the basement. Shoot. Doing illegal things, doing illegal things. All right. Insert the gas canister. I need to be more specific. Oh, okay. Well, alright, how is this for specific? Examine canister. It's a canister of compressed gas. And I believe it's on six. So I'm gonna go and drug this guy. I'm gonna do that. It's gonna be awesome. Use the telephone. Call Mr. Willard. <laughs> Thank you for answering. Please hold. Yellow. Hi. Victor Neff, your new neighbor. Hi, neighbor. I'm Martin. Saw you guys arrive yesterday. Too bad about the weather. I hate moving on a rainy day. Sets you off to a bad start. Tell me about it. So what can I do for you, for you Victor? Is the music too loud? I can turn it down if it's bothering you. Sometimes I get a bit carried away. Um, just calling to introduce myself. We've already done this, but it's okay. We're in a separate chapter, so it didn't remember. That's fine. Can you hold on a second, Mr. Willow? Absolutely. Don't be a stranger, Victor. Just stop by if you need help with anything. Gas the dude. That's a cool sound. <laughs> puff, 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 puff. Uh, flop. Oh man! <laughs> did, the, did the thing appear on his face? It glitched out. Alright, going up to room six. 
or whatever. Up to three. Nefarious plans have we. Is this his room? Door's locked. Can't remember which room it is. I unlocked the door. Yep, this is the one. Hi, Mr. Willard. I'm gonna examine your stuff real quick. Because you might have something I might need. Actually, I can't use stuff in your dreams. Books about graphic design. Cool, cool. Books mainly cover advertising and communication. Good. Looks like a vintage poster. I think I recognize it from somewhere. It's probably from a movie. Turn on lamp. Turn off lamp. Look through telescope. <laughs> Is that who you are? Are you the guy from that one film that I can't think about? Or a kid that I can't remember right now? That door is kind of twisted. I like it. There's nothing going on here. Is that what he means by the music? I didn't even realize there was music playing. I can't go to the rest of the room. That's fine. Use stereo. Raise volume, lower volume, turn off. I'm gonna leave that one alone right now. I don't really need it at the moment. So sender on Mr. Willard. Receiver on me. I mean, I might need it like his dream's gonna be like too wild too crazy And I gotta I gotta turn that music down so that it's not you know bleeding over I'm gonna give it a quick look and then I'm gonna call it quits for the day Star Trek fan I guess this isn't what I expected at all. What is this place? Better find mr. Willard He might help me locate the tentacle Wow. I mean, we can do that. I, I'm gonna leave it here, because that's an interesting place to start, so... <laughs> Thank you very much for joining me. Check out annotations for other videos that I've done. Share, subscribe, and socialize, and all the other fun stuff in the YouTubes down there. Hopefully I'll see you in my next video, and my freckly face is out of here. Bye!